All right, today we'll be investigating how a uh, charging USB cable works. Apparently, if uh, you have a certain type of charger that's rated for it, you can charge it up to 2 amps. You can see this is the Samsung charger that came with my Note 2, 5 volts at 2 amps. Apparently, the difference is... Uh, whether or not these cables in the USB wire are shorted together. You've got a ground, positive voltage, and two data wires. If the charger is set up for it, then when you plug your phone into it, these two wires will be grounded. That lets your phone know that it can safely pull up to 2 amps. If you plug the same cable into the USB port on a computer, it will only pull 500 milliamps or whatever the spec is set up for. So we can build our own cable and have it charge as fast as we want from a computer a USB port. There is a possibility that you could overwhelm the USB port on your computer, uh, so keep that in mind. But just to demonstrate, if we test the white and green wires right now they are open Let's see if we can do that all right we've got some jumpers set up so you can see that we've got them running to my multimeter and currently there is no connection between the two we'll plug in our charger we've got our charger plugged in same configuration as before and you can see that we effectively have a short they've just uh, connected those two wires within the charger if this were connected to the phone that would signal the phone that it is free to take up to two amps all right so what you guys couldn't see because i had to use the phone to charge it was that well I plugged this into the wall, hooked up my cable, ran jumpers over to the other end of the cable, and inserted my multimeter uh, current meter in the uh, circuit so that I could tell how much current it was pulling. Without the green and white shorted together, I plugged my phone in and the maximum amperage it would draw was 0.5 amps, which is what I've heard is the specification. As soon as I shorted the two wires together or connected them to their respective wires on the other side of the USB cord, uh, it would pull a maximum of 0.65 amps. The reason for only pulling 0.65 amps is that my phone is at 96% charge. So I don't imagine that it's taking the full two amps like it would if it were at, uh, you know, nearly dead. All right, so I've got my tablet hooked up here. It's uh, dead, so it should be a little more hungry for uh, amperage. So I've got uh, my cable here jumpered through my meter and then up to my 2 amp 5 volt uh, charger that I've got plugged into the wall. What I found out is that having these data wires connected doesn't seem to change anything. It does seem to be dependent on the device uh, to pull more or less power. I'm assuming it changes the impedance at the device. So I've got it plugged in right now. It's charging the data wires are disconnected so there's no short uh, just as it would be if it was plugged into a computer with a 500 milliamp limit um, it's been charging pretty consistently at 0.1 amps at this point if we jumper the data wires together you'll notice that nothing changes until you unplug it and plug it back in. Apparently it does a check uh, when it's initially plugged in. You can see that we're at 0.94 amps. 
Um, I'm wondering if the tablet doesn't use a different system, maybe with variable, variable impedance or something like that, I don't know. But 0.94 is the most I've been able to get it to pull. Uh, we might have some limitation as far as the thickness of the wires. I kind of doubt that, though. Two amps should be pretty easy to pull through this. But um, So, yeah, if you want to make a charging cable, just short those two wires together, and that'll tell the device to go ahead and pull as hard as it wants or as hard as it thinks it needs to. All right, so I've got my power supply set up to put out uh, 5.3 volts. I essentially uh, don't have a current limit on it, so the tablet will pull whatever it wants. It just won't go over that voltage. Um, if you don't have the wires connected and you plug it in, it does the exact same thing it did before on the wall charger. And that's pulled about one-tenth of an amp. And you can see that... Uh, it's holding steady at about 5.38 volts. Apparently the charger here was not able to keep up and that's why we only saw uh, at a maximum that one amp. Um, after we short the data wires together again, like that, you'll notice that nothing changes until we unplug it. and plug it back in and then you see we're pulling 1.43 1.44 amps same voltage although we dropped it down considerably here If we keep it at 5 volts, uh, we're pulling close to 1.7 amps. So apparently it does have a lot to do with the robustness of the uh, wall wort. If it's capable of keeping the voltage up, then it'll pull 2 amps. But the, uh, the data connection only does so much, apparently.